Fuck, that bastard was a perfect fit. Shit! What's going on, guys? Colin here with Joey. And, uh, back with some more. Have your rain. Okay. Last episode, uh. His mother's here. She'd like to speak with you. We got barbecued. Then our uh, lady friend helped us out. It was a few months back, the middle of the night. And now we're back at the it police was station. Down. Ethan came home completely drenched at about three. I asked him where he'd been. He uh, he spoke about drowning, the rain. Um, he didn't make any sense. There was something. Okay, the, she's pinning the story on me. Yeah, and the, the um, dialogue is off too. There may be no connection, but the next day there was that announcement. See, the dialogue's moving faster than she's saying it. Of the origami killer. I think. Just pin the story on me. Wow. No, it's it's not Ethan. I'm telling you guys it's not him. Norman Jaden of the FBI. I don't buy According it. According to our information, Ethan Mars is one of your patients. And I didn't see how much the rain just said. But I know it's a lot. I'm sorry, that's impossible. I beg your pardon. I'm bound by an oath of secrecy. Under no circumstances may I discuss my patients. My job is to find Sean Mars alive, and I don't give a damn about any bullshit oath. He's right. Legally, you gotta tell us what you know. I'm sorry, I can't help you. And now I must ask you to leave. You need to cooperate. For your own sake. Or what? Sean Mars's life may depend on what you know. Tell us what you know, Doctor. Are you threatening me? I'm just giving you some free advice, Doc. I suggest you take it. Blake, that's enough. Let's get out of here. I am going to call the police and make a complaint about your behavior. Doctor, you are really pushing my... Uh, the only thing I'm interested in is saving... Blake's losing his life. shit again. So, you're gonna be a good boy and tell me what I want to know or I am really gonna lose... My Blake, temper! Stop that! Immediately! Let go of me! You... You have no right! <laughs> nope, he doesn't. A cop cannot do that. Or that. Or that. Or that! <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, um, okay, you, you no so idea. cannot do that. I'm saving a kid's life for Christ's sake. If you don't like it, leave. You are not. He could sue the crap out of you. I'll report you and you'll be off the case. The yeah, bring it on, Norman? asshole. What, you getting cold feet? You don't want to save Sean Mars anymore? Please let me beat your ass. I want to save I'll throw Sean you out the damn Mars window. I hope a freaking dump truck runs your ass over. All right, so you're going to stop this shit. Right now! Come on, do it. Take a swing. Please make my day. Since his first son died. <sighs> Feels responsible for his death. A sort of morbid neurosis. He is haunted by visions of drowning bodies. A few weeks ago, after one of our usual sessions, I found this on the floor. Oh god, something else that's gonna pin him as the. Yep. Called it. Yeah, but every time he woke up from his blackout, he has one of those in his hands. Which, again, is the way the game wants you to think that he's the killer, but he's not. Ooh, trophy. Good cop. Wow, I'm racking up trophies like it's freaking pie. Where do you get the comparison? <laughs> I'm getting a lot of coffee. <laughs> coffee. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of trophies like I would eat a lot of pie. I want you to keep an eye on the train stations, the airports, the bus terminal. I want every cop in the city on his ass. 
president. Talking Heroes about Wi-Fi we know and pizza. About it. Yes. Ethan Mars is yeah. the Miami killer. I guess both. I'd prefer a pizza pie because I like a pizza pie. I could go for some pizza pie right now. And Detective Shelby's nose again. <laughs> What's up? Four. How much rain? Almost three. Why, why are you playing golf in the rain? Well, technically they're not. They're in one of those... Uh, I don't know what they're called, but it, you're where you're golfing from. You're actually sheltered. Oh well, you yeah, you're in a practice range, but practice range. Yeah, I actually have always wanted to go do that just for the hell of it. It's really fun. You can get like a basket of golf nice balls shot. for like ten bucks, and then you just sit there. Thank and you. Please come in. We need to find one around here. What you get for a there is one. Oh no, thanks. We we'll go golfing. <laughs> There's the uh, butterfly sweet. It's like in a dome. I tried once. But I think the owner of the course is and still they got a first and second oh, floor. Oh, that's where uh, Meg plays her soccer strength, games. But also a cool the butterfly suite. Mm -hmm. Would you care to hit a There was I uh, last time that we were there. The I noticed that there were g uh, golf hey. things in the background. Jacket, yeah, except there's an actual dome that you go in. And yeah, it was in some sort of dome. That was a while ago. It was probably like a year ago. Yeah, probably a year ago. The balls are Is in that this vest. <laughs> Do I hit this flick with golf ball? Okay, how many times are you going to help that lady behind me swing the golf club? Alright. The most important thing is to give it that big swing, big boy. When you feel ready, you swing. And. Alright, wait, hold on. We're getting, we're getting our padding down. Alright. Gripping it. Alright, alright. We're going to do this. Professional golfer, here it comes. No, it doesn't. <laughs> One more chance. Come on. Hold it. There we go. <clears throat> Tiger Woods coming up, baby. And boom! Even though that was like a little baby now, hit. It's only your first ball. You should try to strike it a little harder next time. Yeah, I'm gonna have to agree with that one. Put some oomph into it. I'm assuming you didn't invite me here just to play golf, Mr. Kramer. I hear you've been asking questions about my son. Oh, you're that asshole's dad. That's right. I want to know if Gordy is linked to the origami killer case in any way. My son had nothing to do with that sordid case. Yes, we know that. Well, then he has nothing to fear from my investigation. But he's still a little prick. You have no business investigating my son. I told you, he had nothing to do with it. I have all the business in the world to investigate your son. <laughs> with all due respect, Mr. Kramer, it's up to me to decide who I want to investigate. Boom. A better squeak. A little bit more of power into I'm that one. Influential man, Mr. Shelby, and I pay very <clears> well <throat> for loyalty. Trying to bribe me? Are you trying to buy me? What did I just Let's say? Let's just say I'm trying to show you where your interest lies. How much do you want to leave my son alone? Oh, interesting. I think you misunderstood me. I don't play that game. Don't go near my son, Mr. Shepard. If you do, you'll regret it. Well, this just got interesting then. Have a nice day, Mr. Kramer. I would have pushed him off the ledge. <laughs> 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 Sorry. 
Said not to go near your son. <clears throat> well, I say we go near his son now. So I'm guessing he's like a mafia guy. Maybe. He definitely has some sort of a pull with the people, apparently. <clears throat> All right, over three inches of rain, still going. Wow, wherever you guys live sucks. How much did they say before the guy drowns, or the kid drowns? I thought they said like five about inches? Six, I thought. I Might have been five. Never. Oh, hey, man. Five or six. Oh, oh. I'd say that those might have been rats, maybe. <coughs> Is that a snake? I don't know. It's a dragon. Porcelain lizards? They look or new. A lizard. Out of place with the rest of this old beat up stuff. Break it. There's probably a key or something in it, I'm guessing. Note. Something. Not. What? Oh, wait. They're all over the place. What the hell? What kind of weird-ass game is this? There's something in that one. Aha! Uh -huh. I wonder, is there anything else in any of them? Or is that what I just needed? I'm guessing once you get the key, you probably can't touch the others. Why is he walking like a zombie? Because he's probably still injured. <laughs> he's yeah. on his back like a 90-year-old <laughs> man. Oh, God, my sciatica! <laughs> well, let's see what these fucked up turn of events are. Or close the door. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hello. You gonna stare at it? What are you doing? Go in there. We're going very slowly. Wow, that is a shithole right there. Why do all the doors close all creepy like? There's a video. Why is there a propane tank? I do not know. Are you prepared to suffer to save your son? Oh, now what? You have five minutes what? to cut off the what? last section of what? one of your fingers in front of the camera. What? If you succeed, you will get your reward. Oh. It's like Outlast. <laughs> I'm gonna lose some fingers. <laughs> this is like Outlast and Saw put together. Um, well, I guess find something to cut your finger off with? I'm gonna lose a finger. Oh. Oh, oh well, that was convenient. I don't want to do this. Don't want to do it. Uh, you're probably gonna need some sort of, um... You need more stuff than that to cut off a, f a limb. No, you don't. That's a butcher's knife. No, you need to, like, do something that you need to, like, suture it. After you cut it off, you have to put something hot on it to stop the bleeding. Yeah, that's probably not it. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> you have four minutes and thirty seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up, lady. Well, at least he's being smart, and he's going for the most uh, unusable. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, there goes that one. That little pinky got chopped the fuck off. <laughs> Good thing I chopped it off. I didn't saw it off. Because there was uh. a saw on the floor. <laughs> God. Woo. 